Welcome to the largest and most significant temple in all of the city of Jaffna. Today I'm going to be giving you guys an everything you need to know guide about the largest city in the north of Sri Lanka and one of the most important and significant cities to Tamil culture here on the island of Sri Lanka. So get ready to explore Jaffna with me. It's going to be an awesome time. But before we do anything else, let's roll the intro. Okay, and directly behind me right now, you can see Nalur Kovil. This is the most famous Hindu temple and the most popular, most important Hindu temple in all of Jaffna. It is a massive temple. It's also the largest. So we're gonna head in there right now and explore it. All right, welcome to the Nalur Kovil. Of course, we are exploring Jaffna using our awesome tuk-tuk named Dick Dick. That we got from tuktukrental.com. I'm of course exploring with my boy Brandon. What's up, Brandon? Hi, hi, hi. You excited to be in the most important Kovil in Jaffna? It's amazing. This is like one of the most amazing covils I've seen in all of Sri Lanka. It is actually yeah. really, really amazing. Really but basically we've been traveling around all of Sri Lanka in a tuk-tuk that we've named Dick Dick, but today is very special because we're gonna be driving around the city. We're gonna be showing you guys basically the best way to see Jaffna via tuk-tuk. You can come to the city and do most of this stuff by foot or by hiring your own tuk-tuk or whatever, but driving your own tuk-tuk around Sri Lanka and driving your own tuk-tuk around Jaffna would be the ultimate way to see the city. But right now, we're here in Nalu Kovil, it is time to head inside. So one thing that they do in Tamil Hindu culture here in Sri Lanka is they smash coconuts when entering a temple or when leaving a temple. As you can see a lady just smashed a fresh coconut right here on the ground. While using that stone, they just throw it right there and then we can go in. Do we need to take shirt off? Shirt off? Oh, okay. Okay, before entering this Kovil, apparently we need to take our clothes off. Not clothes. It is like This is interesting, I've never done this before. <laughs> All right, we just got out of experiencing this Coville. My my mind is blown. There's no way for video to really capture what this place is on the inside. It's somewhere you have to come visit. And uh, I was telling Brandon on the inside, I, I found it completely incredible and so shocking that we were the only two tourists in there right now. Literally the only two. Everybody else was local, actually worshiping. And it's just, it's amazing to come to a place like this where in Europe and other parts of Asia would be completely overrun with tourists. It would be such a top travel site. I wouldn't be surprised if we were the only tourists in all of Jaffna right now. Like we haven't seen any other tourists other than us. It definitely feels like it. But and what's so amazing about this Colville is that it's made up of a bunch of these golden pyramid-like structures. They're super, super cool. And they stretch out in like all four corners of this thing. That it is absolutely free to enter. It doesn't cost you a dime. And of course, the beauty of traveling with our tuk-tuk dick-dick means that we don't have to wait for anybody to pick us up. We don't have to catch a public bus. We can just hop in our little tuk-tuk, drive around this temple if we want to get a better vantage point, and go to our next location without having to worry about anything. This is the way to travel, Jaffna. I promise you that. The Jaffna Fish Market. It is in a location that is a little rundown. You can see we're here on the harbor by a bunch of ships. Brandon actually used to be a fisherman, so this will be an interesting experience for him to check out, right? I'll see how fresh everything really is. <laughs> We're gonna give you guys a little look at one of the top locations to come visit, especially if you want to see more of the local side of Jaffna. All right, we're officially in the fish market, and it is fishy. It's, it's fishy. Do you like that? There are tons of uh, local fish. Wow, that's a big stingray I'm seeing out of the corner of my eye right now. There are a bunch of animals here. We'll show you guys some of the fish that you can find when you're here in the Jaffna fish market. So if I'm being completely honest with you guys, it's not the most sanitary of markets or fish markets that I've seen. There's straight up fish just standing in every corner here, but it is hustling and bustling. There's a lot going on. If you're interested in seeing what like, a local fish market looks like, this is probably the best place to see it. It's, it's actually incredible. There's people just selling and buying and selling and buying fish everywhere from all kinds of different types of species. Lots of stingrays too, which is pretty cool. And yeah, it's just awesome. These fishermen are coming in from the harbor right now. They come on and they go and sell their stuff right here. The next spot we have driven our tuk-tuk to is the Jaffna Marketplace. Me and Brandon are very, very excited to explore this because we love markets. You guys know me, I've always talked about this. I love markets everywhere I go. And right in front of us is a massive marketplace. It's the largest marketplace in Jaffna and like the official one. So a few things to mention about this part of Sri Lanka. We are in the more predominantly Tamil region. So if you're coming in from the south of Sri Lanka and you're speaking Singhala, here you're gonna be speaking in Tamil. So saying words like Nandri means thank you and Wanakam, which is kind of like a blessing of welcomeness or you just kind of say it when you see people, will really set off a good impression with a lot of locals. We've come to this little stand. They just sell these little vegetarian fried egg rolls. You'll find these all over Sri Lanka. This is not a special to this place at all, but walking around a market, you get this for 40 rupees. It's like 20 cents or something, and they are mm, delicious and filled with vegetables. 
How are you? Wanna come? Wanna come. So in this market, there's everything from tchotchkes, fresh baked goods, fresh fruits and vegetables. It's anything you pretty much want in a market, and it is massive. And it's surrounded by a bunch of stores and outdoor malls, basically. All right, market exploration done. Next destination. Okay, it's time to hop back in the tuk tuk. Let's go. Next up is the Jaffna Clock Tower. Is it a site that you should rush to see? No. If you have a tuk-tuk, you could very well just drive by it. It's an old clock tower that was built by the British when they used to rule here in Sri Lanka. It is beautiful. It is a very nice old-looking clock tower with some really cool statues around it. One with a warrior of an elephant, one with a warrior of a horse. Really, really, uh, really, really beautiful. Maybe just stop here, do what I'm doing right now. Probably not. If you're driving a tuk tuk, you can probably just do the loop and see it from the car. See it from the tuk. And uh, it's, it's also located in the middle of a roundabout. So, depending on how comfortable you are walking around in Sri Lankan traffic, just avoid getting out of your car completely, I would say. Just drive around. That's all it is. It's a clock tower. Let's go to the next location. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've jumped off to our next location with Dick Dick the Tuk Tuk. We have come to Jaffna Fort. No trip to Jaffna is complete without a visit to Jaffna Fort. It is one of the most ancient and historic forts in the city and in the country. Um, and is located right here in Jaffna. And it is uh, an old Dutch fort, so we're gonna go explore it. So one of the cool things about visiting Jaffna, is because tourism is so low here, I feel like they still haven't understood yet the concepts of charging people for stuff. Yeah. And things like this are free as well. Free. Absolutely free. When you travel around Sri Lanka, I'll be honest with you guys, a lot of the national parks, a lot of like entrances to places, archaeological ruins, they're expensive. They're not cheap at all. I would, I would say even by like American or Western standards. Yeah. They're pretty pricey. So to be able to visit an archaeological site like this for free is dope. Amazing. It's amazing. amazing. Tell them how amazing it is. Oh, it's good. Okay, so I mentioned this place was a Dutch fort, and that's not completely wrong. <laughs> it is a little bit wrong. It was actually built by the Portuguese because they were the first invaders to Sri Lanka. And then it was turned into this like diamond star shape when the Dutch invaded. And then eventually when the British invaded, they're the ones who did some final reconstructions on it. But mostly it is a Dutch fort when it comes to the look of it. But it was initially constructed by the Portuguese. And this is just a beautiful remnant of what was left from that very, very dark time for Sri Lankans. All right, and from up here, we actually have a fantastic vantage point of some other really cool things that we're gonna check out later today. You can see there's a long bridge all the way out there, stretching out to a bunch of islands. So Jaffna is a peninsula, and it has a bunch of outer lying islands around it. And it's just a beautiful place to come see this view. This fort is pretty massive. It is a huge fort. There's so many parts of it that are just completely unmarked, just like this. Like, I don't know what room I'm standing in right now. It just feels like it keeps going and going and going. Whoa. This is gnarly. Whew. This is a cool fort. All right, this visit to Jaffna Fort was incredible. It was awesome. We learned a little bit of history. We got to explore these ruins. Fantastic. It is now time for us to head off to something really exciting. So just around the fort is that road that I was talking about earlier. We're trying to get to it right now, and hopefully we'll be able to drive this beautiful, watery island road. You guys will see it. It looks amazing. All right, here it is. We're on that island road now. It is beautiful. We got nothing but water all around us for a few miles here, so we're going to enjoy this ride. That's a dedication you guys don't see behind the scenes to get this footage. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have driven down to the island of Kurikaduan, I think is what it's pronounced. We parked up our tuk here, and now begins the task of us trying to get to the island of Nanitivu. This is as far, pretty much as far as we can go with the tuk-tuk, which is awesome because the tuk-tuk was able to bring us all the way over here. We were able to stop and film and relax and see all the cool places along the way. That's the beauty of doing it with the tuk-tuk once again. But now we have to try to get ourselves from this jetty. And we don't have no idea how it works too. There's not really much information on that online. So we're just going to try to figure it out and wing it as we always do. Hello, Nani Tivu? Nani Tivu? Yeah? One third then? One go, one go. One o'clock? This uh, in the hall. Yeah? Waiting hall. Waiting hall? Oh, yeah. Okay, do you need uh, ticket or something? Yeah. or? Huh? Need ticket or? Ticket, boat in the boat. Oh, you boat pay boat. on the boat. Yeah. How much? 40 rupees. 40 rupees. 40 rupees. Okay. okay. Nandri. <laughs> Nandri Machan. All right, so it's simple as that. We just wait here, and in 10 minutes, we'll board the ship. No idea when we can actually get off the island. There's also a big storm coming in right now, so hopefully we don't get intercepted by that. I'm hoping that we can make it off before we get hit by that storm. Holy shit, we did it. Surprisingly made it. 
Okay. It's actually happening right now. <laughs> so, from the ferry right now, from the port where we're at, you can see temple number one and then temple number two. This island is significant because of the Naga people. The Naga people used to be a people that are rumored to have existed in old Tamil mythology and Buddhist mythology from what I've understood. And they were snake worshippers. And so this island is really famous for having some depictions of snakes, both in a Buddhist temple and in a Hindu kovil. So we're about to go into the Buddhist temple and then we'll walk up to the Hindu kovil, show you guys a little bit of this island, and then probably bounce out. But this is super cool. Right, and as we pass through the archways to enter this temple, it's very apparent that this is a Buddhist temple, for one. They have the Buddhist flag, for two, depictions of Buddha, and of course, everywhere you go in this temple, you will have snakes. Snakes everywhere. Alright, this is important to note as well, there's food here. So if you're coming here hungry like us, you can get some snacks. A little snack shop just like this. So when you get to this island, there's really only two options. You can either go left or you can go right. Around the island, there's not that much to see, but here we have the Nagadipa temple, and then we have the Amman Kovil. Amman Kovil will be down that road, which is a Hindu temple, and the, Na and the Nagadipa is right here, the Buddhist temple. All right, good to note that they charge you 500 rupees per foreigner who enters here, uh, and it says it's for the development of this temple. Walking around here, you can see it is a very, very new looking temple. I don't know if everything here is brand new. All right, so we have left the Buddhist temple. We are now walking over to the Hindu Kovil, and you have two options if you want to. You can take a tuk-tuk while you're here. I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty expensive, so we're just gonna skip it out, and it's only a 10 minute walk anyways. So we're gonna make our walk all the way down to the Hindu Kovil, which is just down there, and then apparently, we should be able to just hop on a ferry right there, because there's a port there as well. All right, welcome to the Hindu temple here. We are in three, Nagapushani Aman Kovil, or also known as just the Aman Kovil. And this is the ancient Naga people's Hindu temple. And you're gonna see a lot of influences here from snakes and serpents, which will be really cool. All right, here's our first shrine dedicated to, I think it's Ravana, because he's got a Vena, I think, and he's got a billion heads. But here we go, you can see the depictions of all the snakes. We have a bunch of cobras over there, over one of the Hindu deities, and then up here we have some cobras, and we just got, we got cobras everywhere. You can see it even in the little bits right here, you got snakes. Hey, little cow. Hey. Hey, little cow. Oh, It's a wet little cow. So one of the cooler things about Hindu temples is that there's always cows around because I think cow, cows are a pretty holy thing in Hinduism and you can't kill cows, you can't eat them. But here we have a little baby cow. He's super cute and like actually really social. He's kind of coming around people taking selfies earlier. Hi little cow. This little cow. Aww. You're so precious. You're such a precious animal. All right, so that's pretty much the end of our adventure here at this Covil. But it is amazing to appreciate the architecture that's put into this place because it is just beautiful. Amazing. Anyways, we're going to try to catch this ferry out of here and get back to our tuk-tuk. So something that's really special about Jaffna is Jaffna mangoes. And people rave about them, especially Tamil people will tell you they're the best mangoes in Sri Lanka. But what they do with the mangoes is they sell them, I think before they're ripe ripe, when they're still a little sour, and then they put a bunch of chili on them. That should be interesting. Oh. Is that chili? Oh. Oh, I don't know what to think of it as. <laughs> oh. I don't know if it's chili. It's kind of like a salty. Oh, yeah, it's chili. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hot. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here we go. Getting... Jaffna mango. It sort of tastes like sort of salt and peppery. Mm. Yeah, I don't like it. It's not because I don't appreciate the Jaffna mango. I'm sure it's delicious. Oh, it's a little spicy. Alright, Jaffna mangoes. We did it. We tried it. That was funny. We are on our second ferry for today, leaving this island. It's a little bit different than the first ferry we took coming in here. A little bit louder. A little louder, a little smaller on the ground. It's got a shrine in the front, which is a present. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's only 40 rupees out of here. All right, that's the paying circle. And that's that done. Whew. Finished the ferry ride. That was a long journey back. That was a long journey there. But we're not done. We now have about an hour long drive out of the island region back into Jaffna, journey where we would continue this travel guide. We got even more things to see in Jaffna. So let's go. So besides the fact that we're geographically so close to India right now, actually the closest I've ever been in my life, we'd be denying it if we didn't mention that Tamil culture and Hindu culture here in the north of Sri Lanka is very similar to what you'll find in India. That's why we've come down to Mango's Indian Vegetarian Restaurant. It's a very popular restaurant here in Jaffna. We're gonna check it out and get some food. All right, so we have some dum biryani. <laughs> I don't know if it's dum or dum biryani. We got a little papadon on here type thing. 
try this out. It's gonna be my first time I think having like classic Indian biryani from an actual Indian place. Mmm, it's basically a mixed rice with lots of herbs, lots of spices, vegetables. You can get meat with it if you want, but here this is just a vegetarian place, so no meat. It is delicious. How dumb is this biryani? <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> all right, delicious food. But now we're going to head off to the most famous ice cream shop in all of Jaffna called Rio Ice Cream. Let's head off there and get some dessert ice cream. We are excited. All right, we've made it to Rio Ice Cream, a world of icy delights. And he is excited. I'm so excited. We don't have one, but we have two ice cream shops. Yeah, we're trying to figure out, but then we just answered with, it's Sri Lanka. Why they have two different ice cream shops, whatever. We're gonna get some ice cream right now. It's gonna be delicious, I'm assuming. Wow, this place looks like it's popular amongst the youth. The youthfulness. Yeah. Can I have a chocolate nuts ice cream? And the faluda? Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm already very impressed with real ice cream. This place was small, the interior. Amazing for like a Sri Lankan restaurant. This is just really awesome. But the prices. So cheap. so cheap. I just got a faluda, which is a classic like Indian sweet. I'll show you guys in a minute. And then chocolate nut ice cream for 250 rupees. Yeah, I got two, of course. It's so cheap. This is less than two dollars for two ice creams, which is super cool. That's so great. Highly recommend this place already. I haven't even tasted the ice cream. Oh man. So this goes also. Yeah. Whoa, this all looks good. This looks amazing. We got the mega special ice cream. There's like seven different ice creams in there. All right, we got the funnel down. Let's try it out. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a bunch of like rose water. In, uh, in India, from what I've understood, they put pasta inside. I've had this once or twice. All right, next up, I got like a chocolate sundae type thing. Oh, it looks real good. Let's try it out. Oh, yeah. All right, that was freaking fantastic. It was so good. What, such a good way to end the day here in Jaffna. Wow, it's tall from the past year, telling you how much I love Jaffna. Jaffna was an awesome experience, and I highly recommend anybody to come to the capital of Tamil culture here in Sri Lanka. I want to say a huge thank you to tuktukrental.com for providing us the awesome tuktuk that we had to go on this adventure across Jaffna. If you're coming to Jaffna, could not recommend more checking out tuktukrental.com. And if you want to get $40 off your next Airbnb, you can use my Airbnb discount code down below in the description if you're coming to Jaffna. That could be well over a few nights for free, free when you're staying in the city. Your Tamil word of the day today is going to be Rusiana, which means tasty or delicious. And we're going to see you guys in the next one. I love you a long time. Goodbye, class.